Hello SGD, Sacred Geometry Coded. Let's look at some curious features about Sun, Earth and Moon and how they are very uniquely balanced and especially if you viewed from the perspective of weights and measures. Five Sheset, God of Weights and Measures, Hermes, Trismegistus, etc. The Synodic Month, that lasts 29.53 days on average. It is one orbit of the Moon around the Earth in relation to the sun. The synodic month, essentially 30 days, is where we get the 30 day calendar from. Every 29.53 days on average, we get a full moon. This is a natural relationship of sun, earth and moon via natural time. So you can argue about other, the clock and the hours and minutes being arbitrary, but 29.53 days is a natural relationship of time. One orbit of the moon around the earth using the sun as our fixed point. A natural relationship of time, 29.53 days. However, it goes further than that. So 29.53 in time. What about 29.53 time is a measure, length is a measure. Multiply the diameter of the Earth by 29.53, we get the distance from the Earth to the Moon. A natural relationship of length between the Earth and the Moon via the natural relationship of time of 29.53 days, which is a Sun, Earth and Moon relationship. We're measuring length, distance, we're measuring time. Here we have one of the lovely symphony of coincidences, this balanced relationship of Sun, Earth and Moon via the full moon synodic month of 29.53 days. Now the significance of the number 153 is also an important one because it defines, so 265 over 153 is the uh, best or one of the best whole number approximates of the square root of three, which is built into the vesica. Symbolically, the vesica is a very nice depiction of a solar eclipse, and we'll get back to that in a moment, because 29.53 days average means there are 12.369 average full moons per year. The square root of 153 is 12.369. However, because there are 12.369, therefore, 29.1 average degrees for the length of the solar arc and because of the elliptical nature of the moon's orbit around the earth the earth will pass through 29.53 days sorry 29.53 degrees of the solar arc during some of its synodic period 29.53 days natural relationship of time 29.53 times the diameter of the earth a natural relationship of distance between earth and moon and 29.53 degrees sun earth moon synodic and we come back to the origin of this lovely balance built into natural relationships of course the 360 degree compass could be argued to be arbitrary yet um, just like the 86,400 seconds per day it's built into things in a lovely way and so let's consider that a little bit more and the synodic month 29.53 days per full moon is also the type of month because there are a few different types of month but the synodic month 29.53 days is the month which regulates solar eclipses uh, the, the moon's orbit is tilted so we don't get a solar eclipse every 29.53 days but the beauty of a solar eclipse happens because of another natural relationship the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun though the moon is 400 times closer to the earth than is the sun a lovely balance and so now we put this into perspective and to scale and what happens the massive sun is perfectly covered by the tiny moon but the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but the moon is 400 times closer to the earth than is the sun. An extremely, almost probably unique relationship in the universe as far as we know. The moon size compared to its orbit is freakish compared to other moons. And here we have the moon 
finely balanced time, distance, even angles, and relationships of sun, earth, and moon. These are curious facts. Um, I'll include this in a longer video because it has to do with metrology as well. SGD, have a good one. It's the stuff they don't teach you in high school or even under Cape University. Tell me if you're